Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I usually do my melanin skin tone color grading within Photoshop. So if at all you find the video helpful, make it a point that you hit the like button so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. So right now I'll show you how I do my melanin skin tone color grading within Photoshop. And you can see usually this is what the image looks like straight from Capture One. And usually in Capture One, I try as much to blend or even out the skin tones, but I as well make the image as warm as possible. So basically, if I told you want to color grade and get that nice and rich melanin skin tone in Photoshop while you're color grading, the very first thing is always make sure that you shoot your images in a warm white balance or make sure that you have a white balance above 5000 kelvins and that is going to help you color grade and achieve whichever type of coloring or skin tone color grading that you want for your images so yeah we are just going to be transforming this image from from this to this so without further ado let's get started so this is what i have right now so usually before i do any color grading and this is what i do after capture one and i'll show you how I proceed with this. So basically in Capture One, I make sure that I have a uniform skin tone for my models. Then after that, I retouch the image. So this is actually unretouched. So I want to show you how I achieve the melanin skin tone color grading in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a copy from the background there by pressing Control Command J. Then what I do first, I come to filter and I come to the camera filter. So in the camera roll filter, I make adjustments in the oranges and I play around with the luminance values in the oranges. So I come to the color mixer and here we have hue, saturation and luminance. So with this, I just come and target the orange color because the skin tone usually has more of the orange color in it. So I come and drag down. So luminous is more of the brightness or darkness of a given color. So I take down the oranges just like that. Then in order to get it look better, I just come right to my highlights and simply drag them down just like that. And take the whites down and I add some contrast. Usually when you when you want to achieve your melanin skin tone color grading, you always have to make sure that you have enough of the contrast within the image. So that is why I've decided to put so much contrast to this very photo. So right now the image looks very nice and it looks better than it was before. So basically this is what I do when it comes to the camera roll filter and I go straight back into Photoshop to do the final color grading. So like I said, images are better color graded when they are shot in warm temperatures or when they are shot in very high kelvins. So I'm just going to come to the adjustments and the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to melanin skin tone color grading is coming to the adjustments and I come to the hue and saturation. So this is where most of the magic is going to take place when I'm trying to color grade this very image. So first of all, you can see when you click on master, you can see we have various colors right here in the master. But for this case, remember in skin tone, we usually have reds and yellows and that is what i'm going to be handling in this case so first of all i come and select the reds so you click on master and you come and select the reds right here so under reds you can see we have the option that is a very much option that is showing lightness here so with this i come to the lightness and i simply drag the lightness of the reds just down just like that and you can see that this gets the image to have that kind of melanin added to it. Then I also come to the yellows right here and I do the same procedure. I just take the yellow or I darken the yellows under the lightness. So right now just look at the image that we have for this case. And with just the hue and saturation, this is the before, after, before, after. So you can as well come and take the reds a little bit further if at all you feel like that doesn't work for you so this is more like a personal test and preference 
So after that, I'm just going to come and I add a little bit of a red color to the skin. Just a slight bit of reds, just like that. So this is the before and after for only the hue and saturation. Then after what I tend to do, I come and I create a black and white adjustment layer. And after creating it, I just come to the blend mode and change its blend mode from normal and I change it to multiply. Then I come to the opacity and simply drop down or reduce the opacity of that multiply blend mode layer of the black and white. So that looks okay. So the next thing I tend to do when it comes to color grading, I come and add one more adjustment layer, which is going to be our selective color. So under selective color, you can target a given color and you really reduce a given color that you don't want. So like I said, skin tone usually has reds and more or and yellows like this. So for this, you can come under the reds and simply reduce the amount of yellows that you need in your red color and you can come and add more reds and by turning the blacks up it is going to increase on the saturation of the red color within your image then you can also come to the yellows and simply take out the yellows from the image just like that so I'm just going to take it out briefly then you can come and also darken up that color. So basically this is how I go about this. Then lastly I come to the blacks and I simply take up the blacks to intensify the dark areas within the image. Then I simply cool down the yellows within the skin overall by coming to the blacks and you can see taking this up is going to add uh, more yellows to are the darkest areas of the image and taking it towards the left hand side it is going to slightly cool down the image so i take it up around negative three and this is it so i could just come right here and i simply drop the color grading layers by pressing ctrl command g after selecting them so this is the before and after for just color grading within photoshop so basically this is what i do to achieve that nice and rich melanin skin tone within Photoshop. And if I told you I found this video helpful, make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.